Welcome everyone. We will look at the Canny edge detector. This is a very popular edge detector due to Canny, a paper published in 1986. This is used as the first step in many other algorithms as well. So this has four main steps. The first step is we filter the image with the derivative of the Gaussian which detects the edge points. Then find the magnitude and orientation of these radiant points. And then we have to do a non-maximal suppression uh, step because these edge points are usually thicker than one pixel. So we have to get a single pixel thick ridges out of these high gradient regions. And there is this linking and thresholding step which is actually a hysteresis step that uses two thresholds, the low threshold and the high threshold for the edges. Using the high threshold, we start the edge curves and then using the low thresholds, you continue them. So we will look at them in more detail later. Okay, so you start with an original image and then you compute the gradient and what is plotted here is the norm of the gradient. So you can see some edges are there which are not very strong, maybe we can get rid of them by thresholding. So after thresholding, we notice that edges are thick, still thick. So we need to convert these thick regions into single pixel wide curves. Now if you look at the image function, so this is the spatial one dimensional image for example now and now this is a transition so the, there would be a positive gradient due to that and that gradient uh, is this and new threshold then but still you can see uh, there is some width to this edge so in order to get rid of this uh, thick high gradient points and convert them to a single pixel thin line like this what we do is we consider perpendicular directions uh, to these gradients and along the perpendicular directions you find the maximum point so uh, if you when you want to find the maximum point sometimes you may have to uh, interpolate uh, pixels okay so when you do the non-maximal suppression uh, you will get a single pixel thick edges now this is nice but it's not complete but the problem with this is along these edges some edges did not survive so we like these to be continued so how can you handle this we know that uh, these uh, regions may have very strong edges and these regions in the yellow area may have had not so strong edges so what we want to do is starting with these strong edges we want to continue uh, the edge curve along the not so strong edges for this we use this hysteresis process now use a high threshold to start the edge curves uh, like these and these are the um, strong edges and use a low threshold to continue them in this fashion okay so we look at some pictures of this high threshold and low threshold edges now these are high threshold or strong edges uh, so you can see for example here uh, there are uh, strong edges corresponding to this and then uh, there are these uh, low threshold edges so many of them and you uh, start the edges with high threshold edges and use the low threshold edges to uh, continue them so that you get a, a nicer uh, edge detection okay now we will look at uh, the code in this one I have defined the high threshold as uh, 255 and then uh, I have defined a ratio a low threshold to high threshold ratio. So usually the low threshold is said to be one third of the high threshold. Uh, so therefore I have defined this uh, ratio as 0.3. So high threshold is uh, set to uh, 255. This is the high threshold max. Sorry about that. And then low threshold is uh, you multiply by the ratio and get the integer. Then in this uh, code, I have used a tracker bar so that I can move this high and low threshold and uh, see how these edges are affected. 
Uh, so uh, let's uh, look at that. Uh, so when uh, the tracker bar is moved, this function uh, gets executed. Uh, so in here, uh, from the tracker bar, you extract the high threshold, and then um, from the second tracker bar, you have two tracker bars, and the second tracker bar is actually a percentage tracker bar. So I divide that by hundred and extract this ratio. Uh, so now I have the ratio as a user selected value through the tracker bar and then I multiply this uh, uh, two to get the low threshold and then using uh, the low threshold and the high threshold I do the edge detection and display those edges. Okay so in the main part of the code you start the window and then you have a tracker bar and then in this tracker bar you have the the current value that must be uh, taken in the tracker bar as well as the maximum value. So in the second tracker bar the current value is 1 and the maximum value is 100. I am using that as a percentage. Let's run this and see. Alright. Uh, so uh, on the top you have the high threshold. So high threshold uh, controls the level of the uh, edges at which the, the, the edge curve start. Edge curve start. So when I if I lower that the number of edges that you will see will reduce, uh, will increase because with the, with the lower threshold, the number of edges will increase. When I increase that to higher, uh, higher value like 255, the number of edges that you see will be less. Now, uh, see uh, carefully, now uh, there are some edges. Now, let's look at the eye area of the girl. Uh, so, if I increase the lower threshold from 1% uh, to 100%, uh, the lower threshold is. Uh, increased then you can see the edges disappearing because the low threshold is high so that uh, the edges do not actually uh, continue. So let's uh, pick a reasonable uh, high uh, threshold um, maybe a high threshold of uh, 100 uh, maybe to this, this one and then uh, when you have a very high uh, low threshold so low threshold is almost now close to uh, the high threshold and now you when you lower it you can see it just start increasing they, they start lengthening lengthening starting from the height they, they start lengthening okay so i hope uh, canny edge detection was uh, clear to you so you come to the x and y gradients of the image find the magnitude and orientation of the gradient and then you do non maximal suppression and then that thins ridges, wide ridges down to single pixel width then you have to do the hysteresis thresholding. Define two thresholds, low and high. Uh, so high threshold is used to start the edges and low threshold is used to continue uh, those uh, edge curves that have been started at the high threshold. Uh, so there have been many uh, contributions to edge detection. Uh, so you can see these are the original images and these are the human segmentations, ground truth. Uh, so um, this is called Berkeley segmentation database. And then here you can see uh, some uh, um, some algorithms what they have uh, computed. And then in this uh, 2013 ICCV paper, uh, you can see the nice uh, outputs. So I like to show you two papers. Uh, one is richer convolutional features for edge detection. Uh, so in that paper, we will just look at the results. I think it's a CVPR 2017 paper. So in that one, uh, you can see uh, edges that are very realistic. So you can see the, the original image, the ground truth and the edges detected by this uh, algorithm. And in this uh, paper, which is a WACV 2020 paper, a dense extreme inception network toward a robust CNN model for edge detection. Uh, in this one, we can see uh, the results uh, over here uh, so you can see um, the original images ground truth and the results which are very nice and which are very close to other uh, ground truths okay so what we looked at was uh, edge detection using the very popular Kenny edge detector 
uh, that has the gradient computation using the gradient magnitude and then thresholding then uh, the thinning of the gradients and then the hysteresis with two thresholds to start edge curves and to uh, continue the edge curves and then we look at uh, two recent papers of uh, extremely close to ground growth edge detection thank you